No, nothing's wrong. I was just surprised, but really happy to find Holly's doll here. We've been looking for it, and with all the moving around and shuffling around, I thought for sure we'd lost it. Well, she has other dolls, right? Yeah, she does, but this one's her favorite, and she's been having nightmares lately, and I was just worried that maybe she wouldn't be able to sleep at your place tonight without it. Well, you don't think she's going to be okay? I... Oh, no, she'll be fine. Uh, oh, your security guys just texted me and said that they picked up Parker and Holly and they're headed to you right now. And I'll be right behind them. I just have to take a quick shower and get dressed and I'll join you for dinner. Okay, bye. to get your message. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't get back to you earlier. Thank you, Ted. The work has been crazy. Thanks to you. <laughs> so how about I order a nice bottle of wine and you tell me what's on your beautiful mind? Well, what's on my mind is a question. Huh? I'm intrigued. And I'll lay right out there. What are you keeping from me, Mr. Laurent? with my dad when you called. Glad he's all right. Fine. He's all right, right? Well, he's he's not exactly out of the woods yet. He still needs some treatment, but he's exactly where we want him to be right now. Okay. It's a beautiful picture of Nicole. Did you take that? Yeah. That's all I have left. Just photos and memories. I don't know why. Why, why wouldn't you? I mean, no one's expecting you to forget about her. Well, there's no way I could do that. She's just loving my life. You should find someone, bro. <laughs> Look at me. Even I did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm making dinner for Sarah. You want to join? Uh, no. You know, I don't like to be the third wheel. I'll grab a bite somewhere else. You sure? Yeah. You know what? You guys deserve some time alone without me hanging around. You know what? I'm really happy that you guys are uh, working things out. You and me both. Have a good dinner. <laughs> Hi. I was just talking about you with Eric. Is he still there? Uh, no, he just left. Why? Never mind. Um, I'll be home for dinner in a little bit. You really think I would keep something from you? Rafe told me that um, Eli overheard a phone conversation that you were having at the station, Ted. Mm -hmm. Telling someone that you didn't want me to know who you were talking to. That was nothing. I'm not surprised Detective Grant would run to your husband and blow it out of proportion. So it was no big deal? Just a no. misunderstanding? Exactly. Then I guess you won't mind explaining to me what it was that Eli might have misunderstood. Oh, in the past I would have lied. I would have charmed my way out, but you have inspired me. Meaning? Come in. Oh. You make me want to be a better man. Which is why I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you who I was talking to on the phone. 